Good day, my dear grade 7 learners. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to this episode of Learning in the World of Mathematics. This is Miss Christine Joy Arumin, your mathematics teacher. Today, we are going to learn about point, line, and plane, which is in module 36 of the third quarter. Here are some reminders before we start our lesson. First, watch this video lesson until the end so you will get acquainted with our lesson. Second, be attentive and stay focused. Third, be prepared with your self-learning module, pen, and a notebook so you can take down notes. To begin with, here are our lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Name a point, a line, or plane 2. Identify the given model if it is a point, line, or plane and 3. Create your own concrete examples of point, line, or plane To start, let us answer first the activity in what I know which is found in your self-learning module. This is a multiple choice with 5 questions. And you have to answer each question within 5 seconds. Let's start with question number 1. What branch of mathematics studies the sizes, shapes, angles, and dimensions of things? Is it A. Algebra, B. Calculus, C. Geometry, or D. Trigonometry? Your timer starts now. And the answer is geometry. Number 2. Which term has no dimension, length, width, or thickness? Is it A line? Is it B plane? C point? Or D parallel? Your timer starts now. And the answer is point. Number 3. What term describes as no thickness but its length extends indefinitely in both directions? Is it A line, B plane, C point, or D parallel? Your timer starts now. And the answer is letter A line. Number 4. How will you name a point? Is it A by a capital letter, B by a small letter, C by three letters, or D by two letters? Your timer starts now. And the answer is by a capital letter. Number 5. What term refers to the lines that lie on the same plane? Is it A. Collinear, B. Non-Collinear, C. Coplanar, D. Non-Coplanar? And the answer is Coplanar. So who among you got a perfect score? If that's so, good job! Before we proceed to our lesson, listen to this short story and try to answer the questions that I will be asking you later on. One night, Mam and Zuck are watching at the sky. They start gazing at the stars. The child is wondering what figure is formed out from the dots he sees. So he starts connecting the dots. My questions are 1. How many points have you seen from the figure? Yes, there are six points connected to form the figure. Two, how many lines are created? Yes, there are six lines created. Now, these terms point, 
line, and also plain are what we call the undefined terms in geometry. They are called undefined terms because they are only explained using examples and descriptions. But first, what is geometry? Geometry is the branch of mathematics that studies the sizes, shapes, position of angles, and dimensions of things. It comes from the Greek word geo, which means earth, and metron, which means measurement. Now, let's talk about the three terms in geometry. First, we have the point. Point shows an exact location. It has no size, no dimension, and represented by a dot. So, as you can see in the illustration, dot and then the capital letter Z. So, how to name point Z or Z? The following are concrete examples of a point. We have one, tip of the pencil, two, tip of the needle, three, location in a map, and four, corner of the book. Second is the line. Line extends in two opposite directions without end. It contains infinite points. When we say infinite points, it has no limit or no ending number of points. It can be named using two points on a line. As you can see in the illustration, we have our line with points E, N, J, O, and Y. So it extends indefinitely. It means it has no boundary. So how to name a line? We have the line symbol at the top of the letters. We have line EN, line NJ, line GO, line OY, line EJ, line EO, line EY, and line NY. And note that points that lie in the same line are called collinear points. So therefore, the points E, N, J, O, and Y are collinear points because they lie on the same line. The following are concrete examples of a line. We have one, string of a guitar, two, clothesline, three, road line, and four, edge of the pyramid. So these are examples of a line. Lastly, we have the plane. Plane is a flat surface that extends infinitely in all directions. It has infinite length, width, and no thickness. As you can see in the illustration, we have our plane, which has points M, E, and T. And the X is the name of the plane. So how to name a plane? At least three points in a plane or by a capital letter. So for our illustration, we have plane M, E, T, or plane X. So these are concrete examples of a plane. We have one TV screen, two cell phone screen, three surface of the floor, and four sheet of a paper. So those are examples of a plane. Also, we have what we call as collinear points and non-collinear points. So collinear points are points that lie in the same line. As you can see in our line at the right, points R, S, and U lie on the same line. So therefore, they are collinear points. On the opposite, the non-collinear points are points that do not lie in the same line. So points C and H do not lie on the same line, so they are non-collinear points. Also, we have coplanar points and non-coplanar points. Coplanar points are points that lie on the same plane. So try to look at the plane at the right. So we have points S, R, U and H lie on the same plane, so therefore, they are coplanar points. On the other hand, non-coplanar points are points that do not lie on the same plane. So in the illustration, point C do not lie on the same plane, therefore, point C is a non-coplanar point. 
Just remember, collinear points in the same line. Coplanar points on the same plane. Collinear for line, coplanar for plane. I hope you understood the terms point, line, and plane as well as collinear, non-collinear, coplanar, and non-coplanar. Now, to know that, let us answer what's more to test to well you understood. It is an identification which you have to identify whether the given statement is a point, line, or plane. You can write your answers on a piece of paper and we'll check it after 30 seconds. Number 1. Tip of the thumbtacks. Number 2. Strand of a hair. Number 3. A mungo seed. Number 4. Cable wire. And number 5. Chalkboard. And the time is up. Let's check your answer. For number one, tip of the thumbtacks, it is a point. Number two, strand of a hair, it is a line. Number three, a mungo seed, it is a point. Number four, cable wire, it is a line. And number five, chalkboard, it is a plane. I hope you got it right. And good job for that. Now, another activity is what I can do, reflect. Create your own concrete examples of a point, line, and plane. Write your answer in a piece of paper and pass it to your teacher together with your activity sheet. You can pause this video and you can start now. Lastly, let us now proceed to your assessment. We have here multiple choice with five items. Pause this video, answer this, and I will provide you with answer key. And that ends our video lesson. Again, this is your math teacher, Ms. Christine Joy Arumin. See you next time in another fun learning in mathematics video lesson. God bless and keep safe everyone.